All right, guys, so this ability has got to be 30 feet. Like, this is like you're in a, a blizzard. Like, I've driven in a few blizzards. This is worse than a blizzard. I, I'm telling you, this ability has got to be 30 feet. I'm doing 17 miles an hour, and I'm afraid to go any faster. Mount Washington in an electric car. Sorry I'm out of breath, it's a little bit of a hike. In an electric car, Mount Washington. You'd have to be nuts to come up here. And uh, visibility is crazy, but I think you're gonna like this video. Follow along. Let's start it off. So uh, we're at the base of uh, Mount Washington. It's, uh, 70 degrees it is uh june 16th uh, like i said it's uh, 70 degrees uh pretty cloudy already pretty windy the uh tesla's at 58 percent so i'm kind of interested to see what the what the uh percent is by the time we get to the top and uh we'll just see what happens all right so we are at the four mile mark the uh it's already four degrees cooler so a degree a mile basically uh battery is eight percent down and uh, in the beginning, we were actually kind of making really good timing up the mountain. It was actually some really good driving, uh, good hairpin corners, and obviously this car is really great at, at doing that. Um, but this truck won't, won't let us pass. So I wish this truck would let us go, but... And it's also bike week uh, in New Hampshire. It's Laconia bike week. There's a crazy amount of bikers up here just look at the views and the drop-offs the wind is really starting to pick up um, we are now just passing the six mile marker so so at the six mile marker our battery is dropped 11 uh, percent which is um not as much as i thought it would i thought it would be lower than that and it's funny it didn't look this bad weather um at the bottom but this is uh the wife says she needs the heated seat on max and the heat on because it is getting cold. I don't even know if you can see anything on the camera outside. It is uh, some serious visibility uh, sh reduction up here. You now cannot see the truck. It's not visible and it's maybe 200 feet ahead of us. That's insane. Even though it's mid to late June, it's actually going to snow up here tomorrow night. There's a cold front coming in, and it's going to snow here. Here we go. We're actually just coming up to the observation tower. Uh, the train is somewhere. I hear the clock, the the clock locomotive. I hear it. I cannot see it. I think the bikers that are coming up here are nuts. They're nuts. Like, I, I, I don't see them. Oh. Good thing to not drive a white car. It's funny, the pickup truck that I was making fun of, oh, now I oh. caught up to him. going up, I guess. All right, so here's the top. <laughs> I, I wish I had something more interesting to say. I mean, you can barely see cars in the parking lot. So uh, we're gonna probably try to walk around up here and uh, see if we see anything else. As I mentioned, highest recorded wind speed observed by man, 231 miles an hour. So, it's pretty nuts up here. So, but I think the craziest part up here is when you walk around, it feels like it's raining just from the clouds. There's a parking lot. 
you can't see the car it's definitely not there but uh time to get back on down you could definitely tell the elevation because i'm not used to being this high up or higher up but i think the bikes that have uh come up here they're crazy yeah it's uh cold windy wet and uh 44 percent headed back down on the mountain gonna get some food on the way back probably come to find out the truck we were trying to chase or one of those go they're getting married up here she's uh in a wedding gown uh, so we are just about two miles from the summit and look we are almost completely out of the clouds now uh, like i said so two miles uh, we've added a percent into the battery. We started at 44 at the top. We're now at 45 and you see the the efficiency we're at minus 519 and you can say hmm I wonder where the mountain was You can just see it's kind of funny looking so uh, like I said you can now See See down and I'm sure the visibility is gonna improve even further Actually, the battery just went up another percent, so we're at 46. I apologize for the sound of the ripping farts. That's the uh, motorcycle in front of us. They got to keep it in first gear and ride down on that so it doesn't overheat the brakes. <laughs> I, I've never seen the uh, consumption chart just straight green. Minus 741, and you can see... Uh, there's the mountain, there's going up to the base of the mountain. And then, boink, boink. We're actually at 50% now. So uh, again, we started at 58, went to 44 at the top. So we've added uh, already 6% to the charge. Probably gonna end at 52%, maybe, that's my guess. Which is kind of interesting. It only took 6% uh, overall charge to uh, get to the top. That's kind of kind of interesting. I thought I thought you would have had more of a net loss than what we're seeing. Took a little bit less time than I thought. We actually made really good time coming down the mountain. It's just crazy. You look at the weather down here compared to up top. It really gets you thinking why it's known for the worst weather in the world. What 231 miles an hour? As far as the car went, we started at the base right here at 58%. At the peak, we were at 44%. Uh, and then on the way back down, it regened all the way from 44 to 51% charge. So only a net loss of 7% charge. It's actually better than I thought it would be. So um, that's all I got for today. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like the content, subscribe, please share it, you know, comment. Uh, and uh, that's it guys. Have a great day. Stay safe.